Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, I'd really appreciate it if you could head on and subscribe to me. You tripping my shoulder. <laughs> so today I'm gonna to take you through how I tackle up my dressage horse. So this is Sunny, he features on all my pictures and videos, and I'm gonna take you through the start and finish of how I tack him up. So I hope you enjoy this video. So to start with when tacking up, Sunny, I take a nice soft brush and I do brush his little face. He gets quite a lot of fiber and straw and everything on his face. He likes to get it everywhere. So I take a soft brush and I give him a nice brush. Um, and then I pick up a harder brush to get rid of all the sand on his body. So recently Sonny has been going in the turnout pen as well as the field because he's been getting a little bit chunky. So we put him in the turnout pen every other day and he loves to roll around, which is very cute for him, not so cute for us. Um, when I brush him, I always brush under his girth. That's really important. So when you put the girth on, you don't rub their skin and irritate them. So I like to flick the brush all over. As you can see, there was quite a lot of sand on him today. So it did take me a few minutes to get out. I mean, this is only one side. So I did his bum, gave him a nice little flick. I do believe in brushing the legs off really well as well because when you put boots on, again, you don't want that to rub against them and irritate their skin. Then I like to take the brush and do the other side. As you can see, I needed to push him over a little bit. He does not like to stand straight in the cross ties. I have no idea why, but he's a bit of a fidget bum. So again, brush over the legs, brush the whole body, um, make sure nothing's irritating under his girth. Give him a nice little sweep. He wasn't as bad on this side, but you just saw all the sand come off. So he did have a good roll and I think he had a good time in the turnout pen but just finish off brushing his legs before we can go and do the mane and tail. I thought I was finished, but then I saw some spots that were still really sandy, so I did take the brush back over him again to redo that. So gave him another flick off, and then I went to go and get the hoof pick. Um, I like to pick all the horse's feet out, and it is very important that you do this before and after you ride. He has been in the field and the turnout pen, so he gets a lot of stuff stuck in his feet. Um, it's just nicer for them to take it out. It prevents any foot issues or infections. And as you can see, there wasn't really a lot this side, which was really weird um, because he'd been in the wet sand. So it wasn't much that side, just give it a nice big brush. And then I went around to the other side and this foot was full of stuff. So this one was slightly more satisfying for me. So I just picked out big chunks, gave it a good brush. and. As you can see, I am brushing, I am picking out these feet onto the floor, which I know some people don't like, but everything's picked out onto the floor and then we do brush up afterwards. It's just easier for us. We don't really need a bucket because often not much comes out of their feet. So just more time effective to just give it a little sweep at the end. This foot was particularly satisfying. I mean, look at all that that just came out in one. That was pretty satisfying. I think most equestrian people will relate that picking out feet can be incredibly satisfying. I think non-equestrian people would be like, what? But it really is. So he get a little pat on the bum for being such a good boy. And then he just lifts his legs up for me now. So he is a very good boy. I do think if you're going to do this, please be careful. If you've not picked out your horse's back legs before, just be gentle. I do know Sonny very well and I do trust him and he kind of knows the drill now. Let's just take a moment to appreciate his beautiful face while I run and get the brush. Um, I did have a few comments on my TikTok about why do you just pick out onto the floor? But alas, I do brush up as you can see. It takes about three seconds. It's not a long process. And again, actually quite satisfying. I do like seeing dirty things go clean, so. So we just sweep that all up and then it's time to get the mane and tail brush. Um, I typically like to do it this way where I brush him off first and pick his feet out second, but obviously if you wanna pick their feet out before they come in, that's also fine too. Um, I do like to do like the basic prep and care of the horse before I do start to tack up, that's really important. Um, so next on the list is to pick up a mane and tail brush. I did struggle to find it because they're sometimes in different drawers. Um, I also got some mane and tail conditioner because Sonny's got a really knotty mane and tail and I don't know why, it's just really awkward to brush, but he has this problem where it can't go on one side, so it's meant to be over the other side, but he just shakes his head and 
it ruins all my hard work. So give it a quick brush, try and get it on the right side if I can, try and get any shavings out. Like I said before, Sonny does love to roll, so he's normally covered in shavings. So I now go around and I do his tail. Again, like I said, with picking out the feet, please do be careful if you don't go around the back end of your horse often, you know. I'd rather have a shaving in the tail than get kicked, so please be careful. But you can see the struggle with how knotty his tail is, so. And that is with conditioner. I'd be, uh, I'd be struggling without, but he actually had a pretty clear tail today. He probably rolled it all out when he was in the field. Um, I did see a couple of shavings at the end when I thought I was done and I just had to pick them out though. So with his tail nearly done, it's time to put the boots on. So I like to work my way up the horse. I like to start at the legs, then go up. So boots first, numna second, saddle, then bridle, etc. So I always can put stuff away after myself so it doesn't take time to clean up afterwards. Um, I got the boots and the two front boots are really nice fluffy ones from my brand Blackheart Equestrian. I absolutely love these. They are so nice on the horse's leg. But with boots, you always want the strap facing the way you're going. So you want that strap facing the back. I couldn't find the back boots at first, but I went to go and find them and they were in his um, field boot bag. So I do the same on the other one. Again, you want uh, you want the straps facing the back. <laughs> he was trying to sniff me while I was doing it. He's very cute, but he's very impatient when you tack up. And then back leg. I do believe in putting boots on all four legs just to give him extra protection because he's very important. We have some handy hooks on the side of the arena, which is great to hang up all our tacks so we don't have to keep going back and forward into the tack room. But I normally put on the saddle pad first, like so, just throw it over and get it into a nice position. That is a saddle pad from my brand Blackheart Equestrian. And then I put a gel pad on, and the reason I put a gel pad on is because Sonny has had a bad back in the past. He did previously have kissing spine, so I just like to give him extra padding, even though his saddle is well fitted to him. It's just very important to me. I then put the saddle on. I try to be as gentle as possible because you don't want to slam it on the horse's back. And also, you always have to give it a little rearrange, put it into the nice spot on the horse's back to make sure it's comfortable for him. As you can see, there is a couple of straps hanging down from the gel pad, but after time, I've figured out they actually don't fasten anywhere on our saddle, so it doesn't actually bother me. Um, I just try and tuck them under the saddle as so. Um, I then put a girth on him, and we've got a little fabric soft pony girth. It was actually my pony Danny Boy's girth. Um, you wouldn't believe it, but Sonny actually has quite a small tummy, um, despite being such a chunky boy. Um, and it's very good for his skin. He is quite sensitive again, so a nice fabric girth is quite soft for him. I give it another little rearrange and put the saddle pad where I want it, but then I was a bit heavy-handed there, so I had to put it back. Um, after the saddle's on and in a nice position that I'm happy with, I do go and redo the girth because sometimes when you get on the horse, the saddle isn't tight enough and it's always better to be nice and secure before you get on. As you can see, Sonny's getting a little bit impatient now. Look at that little foot. He always wants his sugar lumps, his cheeky monkey. <laughs> I then go and put his bridle on. The funny story about this bridle, it was actually my pony Danny Boy's bridle and Sonny has the smallest head in the world so he fits into my pony bridle. Um, those clips are fast release which I really like, I think they're safer. Um, Sonny does have a little tactic of being able to get away from me so I do always try and put the reins over his head first. It's just safer if for whatever reason he manages to escape. He is a little bit of an escape artist, but he was on good form today, so he didn't try too hard. I put the bridle on like so, and he is kind of naughty about <laughs> opening his mouth. So if they don't open their mouth, you've just got to put your thumb just to the side of the mouth to help encourage them to open it, and it normally works like a charm. I then took his ears in and try and level up the bridle to make sure it fits him nicely, it's in a comfortable position, and it's not too tight on one side rather than the other. I'm noticing on this video that his brow band was a little bit wonky, but I did know that I changed it later on. But sometimes you miss things when you're tacking up. 
I always start with the nose band first because Sunny does like to chomp a little bit and that's like the most secure part of the bridle. So I always start with the nose band. I then do the flash second. Again, Sonny's a bit of a chomper, so he does need a flash, otherwise his mouth is open the whole time because he's a little cheeky monkey. I do try and keep it on a loose hole for him though because I don't want it to be too tight. So I, this uh, bridle is actually quite stiff. The leather is quite stiff. So that little scowl was because I couldn't actually get it in. He's like, what? Um, last up is the throat lash. And the rule of thumb is you want to be able to get four fingers in the throat lash. Otherwise, it's too tight. So always measure it with your hand. If you can get a hand in, it's normally the right position. So that is us ready to go. I just need to put my hat on. Um, I do normally put my hat on first, but for the purpose of the video, I did tack him up without. Um, I should have actually put my hat on first because now this was a little bit more awkward because he was trying to eat it and eat me. <laughs> if it is your first time tacking up a horse, I recommend asking someone to hold them while you put your hat on or putting your hat on before you actually put the bridle on, just for safety. Also, you might see behind I left the head collar on the floor. I would normally pick that up after, but from a health and safety point of view, it is better if you hang it up when you've finished. I'm so glad I managed to straighten up his brow band because that was actually very frustrating. Wonky tack is a pet hate of mine, but then hat on because we do like safety first. So that is us done and ready to ride. So that's how I tack up Sunny. Um, everyone has a slightly different way of tacking up and as long as you are safe and everything fits right, there is no right or wrong way. So that's just the way we do it and I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you do, please like and subscribe to us and thank you for watching. <laughs>